Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's episode, we'll be transforming dress shirts into a shirt dress. Let's get started. I am super excited for today's refashion because this is one that you can definitely duplicate at home. The items we're using today for this project are things that you might already have around your house, or if not, you can definitely run down to whatever thrift store you have near you and find these items. They'll for sure be there. For today's refashion, you will need two dress shirts. These need to be pretty similar in color, as close as you can get. The first dress shirt needs to be one that fits you fairly well. Nothing too tight fitting, but basically your size. For the second dress shirt, you will need one that is very oversized. The bigger the better because it'll give you more fabric to work with. Take your first dress shirt, the one that fits you fairly well, and using your seam ripper, just remove that front pocket. Next, try on that shirt, now with the pocket removed, and make a mark at about your natural waistline. Um, I'm just using Taylor's chalk here to make those marks and then mark at the same time how short you want your sleeves to be. And I accounted for um, being able to cuff my sleeves with where my mark was. Then go ahead and lay that shirt on the ground and cut um, that bottom off that you marked with your natural waist as well as shorten the sleeves. Just chop off that excess so that we know what we're working with. If your shirt needs a little more fitting, then just throw it on again and um, mark where you would like to add some darts to the bust. So from that natural waistline up to the nipple line. Um, then take your shirt off and put it down on an iron ironing board and just fold um, where that line should be, iron, and then use your tailor's chalk to mark how much needs to be taken in. Um, then pin those together and make sure you repeat for the other side, trying to make those match as best as possible. Next, you'll want to just cuff your sleeves. So I just did a double fold on mine, fold it up once and then again, and try to get that as even as possible and matched up to the other sleeve. Then you can go ahead and sew those darts in and tack the sleeves. Okay, next thing, we are going to switch to our second dress shirt. So the one that's way too big. And first we're going to just remove the sleeves. So just take those off completely. And once you get the sleeves off, I also just went ahead and removed the yoke. So the top, very top portion of the shirt. So um, if you didn't gather already, the big shirt is going to be the dress or the skirt of the dress. So go ahead and slip that on and start pulling it and pinning the sides together. So it's gonna take some playing with, but you just wanna um, attach the front to the back and kind of pin um, down the sides, kind of outlining the general shape you want. You can do more A-line, more straight, more fitted, whatever you prefer. Then take your skirt down onto the ground and start drawing out your side seams. And once they get to your liking, then you can pin the sides together and then take it over to the sewing machine and sew in your side seams. Um, once you get these sewn in, you are ready to attach the top to the bottom. So just take your skirt and turn it inside out. And then you're going to put the shirt portion inside the skirt and match up the bottom of the shirt with the top of the skirt. Hopefully that makes sense. Right sides together, and then start pinning those together all the way around. And the most important part is to really make sure you line up that placket as perfectly as possible. Then you're gonna go ahead and sew around the whole thing, um, and then you're pretty much done with that part. Next, I decided to make a belt. Um, so I went ahead and cut some two inch strips of my excess fabric, sewed a bunch of strips together, then folded over the edges and folded it in half and did a quick top stitch to finish. Then we're all done. Let's take a look at the final transformation.
enjoyed this refashion and I hope some of you will try it out at home. Be sure to check out my last project on my channel and subscribe for more videos while you're here. I think that's all I have for today so I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys!